Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you three everyday makeup looks that you can create while you're working from home. For me, everyday makeup has three essential qualities. It should be simple and quick to do. Secondly, it should highlight your best feature, so skin, eyes or lips. And thirdly, it should be practical. So the first look I'm going to show you highlights the skin. So we are going to keep the eyes and the lips very minimal. Minimal. I'm starting out with sunscreen very important that you use your sunscreen before you apply makeup once the sunscreen is nicely blended I'm going to go in with the Nykaa skin shield foundation this is affordable it gives you good coverage you don't need to use a lot of it and it's really long-lasting and I've been switching to more matte and long-lasting foundations in the current season because it's so humid and hot after blending that, I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm going to place it in the areas where I have the maximum darkness instead of applying a lot of it in a triangular shape under my eyes. So I'm focusing on the areas that need a little bit of brightening and a little bit of concealing. Especially this inner corner is really important because this is where uh, we have a lot of darkness and it can make the eyes look very tired going in with a brow pencil now i'm using the brow artist by l'oreal this is one of my favorite ones super quick and easy to use and i'm going to fill mostly the arch focusing on this area doing the brows is really important because it just lifts and frames your face really well now taking a lip color i'd like to use a lip stain for this kind of look and this is a matte stain by l'oreal the shade i've used is called I choose I'm creating like a really soft pink stain on the lips by using my finger and I'm going to use that same product on the cheeks as well just to give me a very natural looking pink flush on the cheek next I'm going to use a little bit of highlighter this is actually an eyeshadow by pack but I love using this as a highlighter because the color just works really beautifully for my skin so I'm applying this on the top of my cheekbones using my fingers to control the amount of product I apply because I want my skin to still look like skin and also doing a bit of inner corner highlight now for my lashes, I'm actually going to use a clear mascara because this look is all about the skin. I want the eyes to be very soft and understated. So I've just curled my lashes, applied the clear mascara. Going to do a little bit of setting using a powder by Sugar, just in the areas where I tend to get a bit oily and finishing everything off with the MAC Prep and Prime, which is an essential for me when I want my skin to look great. And that's the final look. Now moving on to the second look, this one is all about the lips. I've already done my base using the same products as look one, just doing my brows to give them a bit of lift and volume and then going in with this beautiful berry pink lipstick by Color Bar. I love the color, I think this is such a flattering color for Indian skin. Also the formula of this lipstick is really smooth, it's nicely pigmented and it's quite long lasting. So I've applied this on the lips and then using my finger just to soften the color into a stain and then using a little bit of concealer around the lip just to make sure the lips are the focus of this look. To add a little bit of color to the cheek I'm using a blush. This is a soft pink color, something that's very natural and understated so it doesn't compete with the lip. Now for the lashes and the eyes, going to keep it very simple by just curling my lashes really nicely and using the Lash Paradise Mascara which is one of my favorite affordable mascaras. I've done only one coat so that my lashes are not too big or too voluminous because the lip is the center of focus here. So that's the second look. Now coming to the third one, here the focus is on the eyes and I personally love this look because it's quite simple to do but it just looks so sultry and beautiful and looks like you've put in a lot of effort. 
For this look, I'm using one of my favorite eyeliners and this is the shade Bronze Beam from Nykaa. I've used this to create a soft wing on the top and I'm using this along my lower waterline and little bit spilling onto the lash line as well. In the next step, I'm going to go in with a brush and softly diffuse this wing shape to make it just look a bit softer. And once I've done that, I'm going to go back in with the pencil and just intensify and give a little more definition make sure the liner on the top and the bottom is connected into a nice lifted point this is what is going to give your eyes a really nice lift just softly diffusing it a little bit with my finger I've got my liner shape now going in with mascara and mascara is very very important for this look I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise using two coats because it's going to give really good volume when I layer the mascara using a little bit of loose powder around the eyes so that my liner doesn't transfer or smudge during the day now coming to the lip and the cheek I'm going to use my favorite nude color this is the shade browning glory it's from sugar it's the most beautiful and flattering peachy brown color also using this as a cheek color just placing it in the center of my cheek and blending it with my fingers it just looks so natural I love this color and I use it very very frequently just setting everything with MAC prep and prime because this just makes my skin look really good and also helps my makeup settle down and that is the final look So those were the three looks highlighting one feature each so you can pick your feature and create a look that highlights your best feature and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you soon in my next video bye